everyone! In this video, I'll be helping you improve your English on ESL websites. One of the goals of this class is for you to learn how to find websites to improve your English. This will help you continue learning English outside of the classroom. There are many websites to help people learn English and practice their English. In the Getting Help module, I provided some of my favorite websites for students to learn and practice English on a page called Computer Skills and ESL Websites. So you can click here to go there. Or you can go to the modules and go to the Getting Help module and it's right here. It's the fourth one down, Computer Skills and ESL Websites. I have some websites that I like for improving your computer skills, and these ones are for improving your English. And every week in this class, we'll visit some of these websites for you to practice your English. This week, you will visit the first two websites on the list and practice your English. Follow these steps below. Click here to see the list of ESL and computer websites and go to the second list, English Language Skills. Click on the first link, languageguide.org, We're going to go down to the second list, English Language Skills, and you're going to click on the first link right here. I'd like you to click on English Vocabulary, improve your auditory and comprehension skills, and build vocabulary, so learning new words. Take a look at the list and choose one that you want to learn. Do you want to learn about farm animals, or women's clothing, or medicine, or your digestive system? The sea, weather. Pick one that's interesting to you. I'll choose the body. The body, too. I recommend beginning with or just Scott, veins. I recommend first just learning the words bones, bones, spine, backbone, spine, backbone, skeleton, skeleton. You can listen and repeat, and you can take notes. Write down these words in your notebook skull, skull, rib cage. There are some activities here to practice blood. So you find the one that's blood. Gums. So you choose the one. You can go to the next one. Skull. Skull. Heart. Okay, so you're Rib cage. After you can do like a listening practice. Oops, they also the have a speaking. Too. There's also a speaking challenge where you hear it or you can also repeat. You can activate the microphone and windpipe trachea. Windpipe trachea. Lungs. Lungs. Jaw. Jaw. So you can speak. Okay. If you like this website, you can also make a bookmark. You click here to make a bookmark. And click done. So that later, I can go to my bookmark here. You might find it here or if this is full, you can find it here so I can visit this website later. 
After you finish that one, go to the second one on the list, ELC Study Zone. Choose your English language level, whatever it is. Um, this is a website for the University of Victoria, okay? And I think they have a great website to practice your English. So choose your level. Let's say you might begin, if you're not sure, just begin at the lowest one and pick a topic. Do you want to do grammar, reading, puzzles, vocabulary? I'm going to pick the reading. Choose a story to practice reading comprehension. Val's Garden. I am new to the city. I do not know anyone. So you can read and listen, and then there's questions here to answer. How long has the writer of the story lived in the city? It said I am new to the city, so the answer I think is B, not very long. And then it tells you correct. So you can listen and answer the questions. You can go to the next exercise, okay? So practice those two websites. Again, if you like this website, you can, I would go back to the, to this, this page here, where, what you started with, and bookmark it again. Add bookmark, and that way you can revisit this website later. Again, when you have free time on a Saturday, Sunday, your day off, and you just want to practice your English. Okay? Oh, also, if this was too easy, go to the next level, right? You can explore this website. All right, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoy um, exploring these first two websites and you learn some new words and practice your English. Um, you don't need to turn in anything for this assignment. This is just self-study. Um, and um, yeah, and please reach out to me if you need any help. Bye.